Most people in America live in a shelter. I've often talked about in my programs that I coined, well, a couple years ago, about the three S's that everyone needs shelter, sustenance, and service capabilities. The first area of shelter is something that most people consider first in life, but in truth, in the day-to-day -day living in homelessness, from cybercrime, identity theft, fraud, and police brutality, and other aspects of reality of traveling to do your work, we have the reality of the fact that we don't always need a shelter. But in the night, where does a homeless person go for shelter? Many shelters across America are overstuffed, particularly during winter. Some shelters have been closed down because of COVID, and that is appropriate because most beds in mountain shelters are handled by laying across the gymnasium floor where there's very little information or very little uh, propositional space between the beds. The shelter and the men's shelter that I stayed in very briefly last winter before I felt that the molestation of my property and me was not okay was literally a 62-some bed shelter. In my opinion, I think we need to go back to the mobile hotel kind of situation or maybe more like a minchuku concept in Japan. But what I can tell you about men's shelters is that they aren't the safest for men who don't have vice or vanity issues. What I can tell you about people of intelligence and background and education who've been through something different than some sort of codependency issue is that openly there are other places around town that typically have the opportunity to stay underneath at least a place to get out of the rain. The best thing that you can do when you see a homeless person at night is just leave them alone. Unless you're trying to offer them some sort of a quality gift certificate or quality gift card so that they can get food for the night or food for the next day, then you really should be not going anywhere near them and staying away.